Hey guys, tonight's story is called Big Shark's Valentine Surprise, and it was written by Steve Metzger, and it was illustrated by Cedric Honstadt. We have the dedication page. It says, to the memory of my mother, and that's from the author, and then the illustrator said, for my wife Jenny, you'll always be my valentine. And this book was published in 2007, so that was several years back. Here is the title page. And our story begins. Chomp the lemon shark had recently moved to a warmer part of the ocean. Once he and his mother settled in, Chomp said, I think I'll explore our new neighborhood. I'll be back soon. Okay, said his mother. Please be safe. Chomp saw an amazing new world. He loved the way the dolphins jumped out of the water. He loved the bright colors of the butterfly fish. And he loved the graceful movements of the octopus. So here's the dolphins jumping out of the water and coming back in. They're probably just making like a loop in and out. And then here's the butterfly fish. And then here's, of course, the octopus. Chomp raced home to tell his mother about the different animals he'd seen. Mommy, mommy, he called out. This part of the ocean is wonderful. The dolphins can fly through the air. The butterfly fish have the shiniest yellow scales. And the octopus has eight long arms. Did you know that? No, I didn't, Chomp's mother said with a smile. It all sounds so exciting. I love our new ocean home, Chomp exclaimed, and I love all the animals that live here. That's wonderful, Chomp's mother said. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. It will be the perfect day for making new friends. Oh boy, Chomp said, I can't wait. All right, Chomp, his mother said. Now it's time to get some sleep. You've had a busy day. So when he wakes up, it's going to be Valentine's Day. The first rays of sunlight woke Chomp, and he immediately swam out of bed. It's Valentine's Day, he called out. Yes, honey, Mom's mo Chomp's mother said in a sleepy voice. Chomp quickly ate his coral reef crunch cereal and got ready to begin his day. Before he left, he turned around. How do I show the ocean animals that I want to be their friend? Just listen to your heart, Chomp's mother replied. You'll know what to do. Thanks, Mom, Chomp said. See you later. Chomp swam and swam until he saw a puffer fish. She looks nice, Chomp thought. I'll give her a big Valentine's Day hug. Then she'll want to be my friend. What do you think's going to happen when he goes to try to give her a hug? Do you think she might be a little bit afraid of him? Look at those sharp teeth he has. Even though he's smiling, those sharp teeth are pretty, uh, are pretty scary. Let's see what happens. Chomp's toothy smile widened as he spread his fins. He slowly swam closer and closer. But when the puffer fish saw Chomp approaching, she quickly puffed herself up in fear. Don't be afraid, Chomp called out as the puffer fish raced away. She's long gone, isn't she? I, I just want to wish you a happy Valentine's Day. But the puffer fish was gone. I'll just have to try again, Chomp said with a flick of his tail. So he's not giving up. He swam around a colorful coral reef until he spotted a stingray. He looks so cool, like a giant butterfly, Chomp thought. I know. I'll give him a big Valentine's Day kiss. I don't know how that's going to work out. But when the spotted stingray saw the big lemon shark approaching, he buried himself in the sand. 
Don't go away, Chomp said. I just want to give you a kiss. I don't want to eat you. But it was too late. And if you notice, these, um, these fish that he's trying to become friends with, they have their own kind of like defense mechanisms. And you know, what that means is when they get afraid, the puffer fish, she, like, bl her body blows up. And then, you know, she'll swim away as fast as she can. And then the stingrays, when they get scared, they bury themselves in the sand to make themselves less visible. And a lot of stingrays are actually kind of like sand colored. Like they're the same color as the sand, so they camouflage with it and they blend in with it so that you can't see them. I'm not having a good Valentine's Day, Chomp thought as he swam away, but I won't give up. He noticed a parrotfish nibbling on some coral. Maybe he'll be my friend. I don't want to scare him. I know, I'll sing him a poem I learned at school. As quietly as possible, Chomp glided right up to the parrotfish. When the parrotfish turned around, Chomp smiled. The parrotfish smiled back. So far, so good, Chomp thought. He sang this poem. Roses are red, violets are blue. Seaweed is sweet, and so are you. That seems like a nice little poem, doesn't it? But the parrotfish wasn't smiling anymore. You think I'm sweet? You want me for lunch? He quickly darted away. I don't want to eat you. Come back. But it was too late. The parrotfish was gone. Chomp angrily began to swim home. He chomped on everything he passed. No one likes me. This is the worst Valentine's Day ever, he shouted. Just as he was about to take another bite out of a piece of wood, sea wood, he looked up and saw his mother in the distance. She was holding something. What do you think she's holding? Hmm, kind of looks like a piece of paper. We'll see what it is. Hmm, not a piece of paper. What's Mommy looking at, he asked himself as he swam closer. Then he realized what it was. It's a picture of me. Mommy loves me. It doesn't matter if I didn't make any new friends today. I have the best Valentine in the world, my Mommy. Chomps, Chomps spotted a heart-shaped shell on the ocean floor and picked it up. Mommy, Mommy, Chomp shouted as he arrived home. Happy Valentine's Day. He gave her a big hug and a kiss. I bet you're going to give your mommy a big hug and a kiss on Valentine's Day, too. Hopefully, you'll give your daddy a hug and a kiss, and maybe your grandma and grandpa. Maybe even your brother or your sister. Thank you, Chomp. His mother said, Happy Valentine's Day to you, too. Here's a special Valentine's Day present, Chomp said. It's shaped like a heart. It's beautiful, she said. I love it. I love you, Mommy, Chomp said. And I love you, too, Chomp's mother said, on Valentine's Day and every other day of the year. As Chomp was hugging his mother, a group of ocean animals swam closer. He's not scary, the pufferfish whispered to the spotted stingray. Not at all, the spotted stingray replied. He's nice. Chomp finally noticed the sea animals nearby. Will you be our friend, the parrotfish asked, swimming closer. Really, Chomp asked. You aren't afraid of me? Not anymore, the spotted stingray replied. Happy Valentine's Day! So now all of the animals, or the sea creatures, they realize that Chomp isn't mean and he isn't scary and he just wanted to be their friend. He wasn't going to try to eat them. 
and now they've all come to officially um, try to become friends with Chomp now that they realize that he's not so scary after all. I would love to be your friend, Chomp exclaimed. Turning to his mother, he shouted, This is the best Valentine's Day ever. The end. Hope you enjoyed the story, and I'll see you tomorrow night. Bye.